General, what's the status of our forces after our withdrawal from our old territory? Very poor at best. Most of our forces were destroyed during the retreat, and we only have three destroyers left out of our entire navy. With that, only one of them are functional right now as the others are too heavily damaged to be used. This being said, our air force didn't suffer quite as heavy casualties, so we still have a few squadrons of interceptors. Jesus, how are we supposed to even so much as hold our ground with one functional ship? The conference of the area is coming up and we have to pledge our allegiance to go to war with one or more of the factions since going for all-out war with all factions is not even relatively close to being considered. Well, I have come up with the best course of action for this, which still isn't ideal by any means, but is our best shot of being able to recover some of our forces. And what might that plan be? We go to war with the Austro-Hungarian Empire. From the intelligence I have gathered, they are almost in the same situation as us, though a bit better off when it comes to forces. They do not have a large amount of dreadnoughts and battleships readily available to deploy, and mostly comprises of smaller light destroyers and torpedo boats. So with our one destroyer and our squadrons of aircraft, we might be able to push in far enough into their territory to wipe out a few of their smaller forces and secure some resource zones. Doesn't really sound like we have any better options right now, so get plans drawn up for an operation into their western territory with the goal of capturing resources. Commander, battle plans have been drawn up and ready for review. Good, run me through its details. The operation, codename Redeeming Fury, is a strike aimed at capturing two of the resource zones located on the western section of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Our one Forest-class destroyer will push in with the first airborne squadron and capture these two zones. This will lure smaller forces out from their resource bases and other bases deeper within the Empire to intercept the strike force. Once the smaller intercept forces are gone, the destroyer and airborne squadron will capture the southern resource zone and set up defensive positions. After fully securing this zone, we should have enough resources back in our territory to finish repairing another destroyer to send out to link up with the one forest class destroyer and then make a push north towards another resource zone. During all this, other air squadrons will sure up all other territory south of the main force. Sounds like a solid plan, you are clear to commence the operation. Great news, Commander. From us continuing our war with Austria-Hungary, other factions gave us thousands of commodities that allowed us to not only finish repairing another Forest class and a Vanquisher class, we were able to build a whole new Trigov class battleship. All the ships are en route to the Strike Forces location to prepare to lure out forces from the Southern Resource Zone.
Overlord to Strike Force 1, move into your bombardment formation and lock in your targets. Once the clock hits 0500 hours, you are clear to engage. Over. Commander, the first objective has been secured. The Southern Resource Zone is now under our control. Outstanding work. Continue your advance to the Northern Objective. I'll work on sending our logistics helicopter and resource harvesters to the new zone. Excellent planning and execution general, we desperately needed those resource zones as well as the commodities that were gifted to us. Now we might have a fighting chance of staying alive and maybe even pushing back against those who tried to wipe us out. Thank you sir, I'll get working on plans for our next operation here soon. <laughs>